More than $1,000 worth of camping gear stolen this weekend from Cub Scouts in Athens. News Channel Line's Stephanie Sanastasi talked to one Cub Master who believes she knows who's responsible for it. Stephanie. Kim Kelvin, Cub Master Nicole Marriott tells us there were six packs camping this weekend at Athens Regional Park. Most of them went to bed Saturday around 11, only to wake up Sunday morning around 7 to find most of their stuff gone, including their $225 pack flag. It's quiet now here in this field inside Athens Regional Park. But this past weekend, more than 30 Cub Scouts and their families were out enjoying a fun weekend of camping, or that's what they thought. We were woken at 6 in the morning on Sunday by a car horn coming through here and people yelling profanities out to the scouters. and taken off and screaming up the road. About an hour later, once everyone came out of their tents, Cub Master Nicole Marriott said they noticed a lot of their camping supplies were gone. It was shocking. I mean, to walk around and, you know, hey, where's our stuff? What are we having for breakfast? We couldn't cook breakfast for the kids. They took all our utensils and pots and stuff. We were supposed to cook breakfast for us Sunday morning. She shows us this list she put together, outlining everything that's missing. These things here were parents and troop that I borrowed stuff from. Marriott says she was told by by park officials that the gates would be locked by 11 each night, but Parks and Recreation Director Austin Fesmeyer told us that wasn't the case. The gates were left open uh, a couple of reasons. One, because of the storms that were coming through, and you know we did have people spending the night in the park, so we did in, for emergency vehicles and all to be able to get in. The gates were left open. Fesmeyer says the park does have security cameras, and his crews will be checking those to find out who did this. We're not going to tolerate that, and we'll do whatever it is necessary, A, to catch them, and B, to make sure that they're not able to do that again. Marriott tells us she has filed a report with Athens police, and she hopes whoever did this comes forward. It hits home, especially for them that can't, they don't have their packed flag to carry through the parades now. We're going to have to replace that. The Parks and Recreation Director told me today there are 10 cameras in the park. They did find some stolen items under one of the cameras, and his crews work, will continue to look through the surveillance video to see if they can find footage of the people involved. If you have any information, you're asked to call the Athens Police. Calvin. Thanks, Stephanie.